A lot of people wonder, why would somebody go into anatomy? And anatomy is not one of those careers that children think about when they think about a career. That usually doesn't come to the top of the list. And for me, it actually did. I was always interested in nature, and I was fascinated with the insides of animals since I could remember. Just wanted to understand how they worked, what was in there, what made everything alive. When I came to Mount Sinai as a graduate student, that's when my passion for anatomy was really lit on fire. I've known Joy for almost 40 years. In all the years I've worked with Joy, she has elevated everybody. And that's what a definition of greatness is about. Joy Galen Reidenberg is a world-renowned researcher of the comparative anatomy of animals. Her work has important implications for developing novel preventative technologies and new treatments for injury and disease. I think being a scientist is like being a detective. You want to follow that curiosity. In my lab, our mission is to try to understand the basic anatomy of animals and apply it back to the human condition, particularly animals that have extreme adaptations. Our current work is looking at how animals that battle with their heads, the bighorn sheep, for example, survive those encounters without getting concussions. So it's a model for joy to study, to see if there's a better way that we can protect the human brain. I want to examine the most extreme animals that I can find and try to figure out when nature tests it to the limits, does it still work? How does it work? And that led me to looking at whales. If we understand how these whales manage their air spaces as they dive into deeper pressures, we can use that knowledge to try and treat emphysema, for example, where the lung tissue is too stretchy. Whales, on the other hand, can change the stretchiness of their tissue. If we understand how they do it, maybe we have a treatment for people. She's been educating millions of people about anatomy through her television documentaries. Of all the dissections that I've performed, probably the most rewarding are the ones I've done on whales. I think that every scientist should have the obligation to take the science that they have discovered and teach it to the rest of the world. Having such an inspiring faculty at Sinai helped me to become inspiring as an educator. We have a broad ligament on Dr. Lehman because he is now a uterus. <laughs> and this is the mesometrium, the Yankee pinstripes of the mesometrium. The best part of teaching is when the students have a little aha moment and realize that's how it works. I love those moments, and I want to see that in the whole world. When the history books are written, they're going to say that we were blessed to have one of the finest comparative anatomists and teachers in the world live in our house. The thing I'm most proud of is winning this Jacoby Award. It's really the pinnacle of my career. The people who I really have to thank are the people who are responsible for helping shape me to be the scientist and educator that I am today. That would be the faculty that I've worked with here at Mount Sinai. I have to thank my family. And of course, I'd like to thank my husband, my partner, my soulmate, who has helped me to be the person I am today. I finally accomplished my childhood dream.